Hey everybody, this is Professor Johnson. I'm going to show you today how to do a cause and effect diagram, sometimes known as a fishbone diagram or an Ishikawa diagram in draw.io. So you can see I've gone to draw.io, www.draw.io, and the first thing that comes up is a interact a box that asks me to tell it where I want to save my diagrams. So I'm going to choose to save my diagrams to my device. So I'm going to click on that and I want to create a new diagram. And so I'm going to title my diagram up here. I'm going to title it cause and effect and I'll make this test number one. Um, I'm also going to go over to the templates here because there's a lot of great templates in draw.io and this is going to give me a quick start on my fishbone diagram. So fishbone diagrams happen to be located under other and you can see there it is. It comes up as an Ishikawa diagram so I'm going to click on that and click create and here we go. So we already have the basics of a cause and effect diagram put together here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's a little bit easier to see. And now I can really just start entering my data into the program here. So I'm going to say that my problem that I'm working on here is low customer satisfaction. And I have several causes. Um, so my causes that I'm going to use, and I'm going to actually start from this end here and work my way back. I'll eventually delete these because I'm just going to be working on three causes here for our purposes. Um, but I know my causes uh, are several. One is my high price for my product. A second is uh, low quality. And finally, the third is poor poor after sales support. Oops, let's get that fixed. Okay. So we know those are our three our three main problems. And now there are several contributors or details that go with that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it as we're typing it in. There we go and I'm to and so I've just clicked on the uh, the magnify button to make that happen. Now I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to just drag using the scroll bars here so we can get a little bit better focus on what we're doing. Okay, so now I've got several details here. One in regards to high price, I have cost of materials. So I'm going to put uh, detail number one is material cost. Um, next one is ineffective marketing. So I'm going to put, I don't want that sub detail. I'm going to click on this detail here. And uh, ineffective marketing. So those are the two things that we know right now that are contributing to our high price. The rest of these uh, elements uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. So to get rid of an, a, an item here, on draw.io. I just click on it and then hit my, whoops, click on it and hit my delete button on my keyboard. That's going to delete that item. So that'll clear up all the things I don't need. That's going to be a little bit tedious, but it can go quickly. So we're making our way through these items here. Deleting what I don't need. Okay, so and for this I'm going to just make my ineffective marketing. I'm going to hit the return key there. So that's a little more readable. And put my cursor in between there again hit the return key, makes those things a little more readable. I can also move this around by clicking on it and just dragging it. Okay, so here's my the first, uh, first set of bones on my fishbone diagram. I've got high price and two sub-issues related to high price material costs in effective marketing. So now, let's go over to my, our low quality 
one driver here. We know there's several issues related to that. We have poor materials or poor poor quality material. Quality raw materials, let's say. And I'm gonna just put a return in there, make it a little bit easier to read. Uh, let's say I'm going to get rid of this sub detail because we don't need that. And we also have bad design. Again, I'm going to put the return key there. And let's say we also have, I'm going to get rid of that sub detail so it's out of the way. Let's say we have uh, poorly trained employees. Again, I'm going to hit put a couple of returns in there to make that easier to read. So there we have our issues related to low quality. And again, I'm going to go through and delete the elements that I don't need here just to clean this up so we can make it a little bit easier to see. And you can see that I paused the recording here a little bit to get rid of some of these things. So you didn't have to sit through all that. So now, again, we have our details related to poor quality or low quality products. So we have poor quality raw materials, we have bad design, and we have poorly trained employees. So now I'm going to scroll down here a bit and go to our third and final reason for low customer satisfaction. That's poor after sales support. So there are three things that I want to address here. One is fee structure for the after sales support. Another one is long hold times. And put another return in there. And then finally we have wrong answers. people call in. And again, I'm going to erase the thing, the elements that I don't need here just to make this cleaner and easier to read. Okay, so you can see that I have deleted all of the extra extra fish bones that I did not need. And let's uh, shrink this down a little bit so we can actually see the whole whole diagram in one one picture. There we go. So now you can see we've got a very clean fishbone diagram related to our low cast customer satisfaction problem. I can also take our main backbone of our fishbone diagram and make this shorter just to clean this up a little bit more. And there we go. We have a nice clean fishbone diagram or cause and effect diagram. So now I just need to save this so we can use it in our assignments. And I'm going to go to File and go to download as and you can see there's a number of different options that I have here for use in our postings I'm going to recommend that you download it as a PDF uh, that gives the clearest image uh, to enlarge and read online uh, as an attachment to our discussion boards so I'm going to save it as a PDF and you can see it's going to take just a minute to do that and it automatically downloads it to my computer. So then I can go into my downloads file and pull that up and attach it as a PDF to any of our discussion boards or use it elsewhere. Of course, as you saw, you could also save this as a number of other document formats and use it, uh, use those document formats in your whatever application you have as well. But that's the basics on how to do a cause and effect or a fishbone diagram using draw.io.